Hey you guys, this is Raphael from ShilohRelics.com. I hope you're all doing well today. It's a great day here, and this morning I was reminded of something that a friend of mine from Louisiana always says. When I ask him how he's doing, he says, never had so much and needed so little. And I think we could all say that in one way or another today, and I sure am glad to be here. I uh, hope that you're enjoying the video series that I've been putting on. We've got a new little setup today, so it's going to take me a little bit of getting used to because I'm that old dog trying to learn new tricks. So bear with me. Today we're going to talk about our first long arm, and I had to reset the area to be sure we could get this thing in frame. I'm going to start off with one of the most attractive Civil War guns, in my opinion. It's the Remington Model 1863 percussion rifle. It has a 33 inch barrel, fires a bullet of 58 caliber, and when we say 58 caliber, that means it's 0.58 of one inch of 100, 0.58 of 100 to make up the inch. Um, had a couple people say they didn't know what that meant, and it's a legitimate question. And anytime you have a question like that, if you uh, send a comment or message, I'll be glad to try to answer it for you. So this one's 58 caliber, 33 inch barrel. They were made between 1862 and 1865. They made 12,501 of them, and a lot of them survived because they are very attractive guns. They were very well made. There are several notations of how well they're made. And they were a gun that didn't make it into widespread service. You don't see a lot of them that saw service. Therefore, you see a lot of them that are in very fine condition. And fine condition on a gun like this, the barrel is blued. And as we've talked about before, that bluing is a way to protect the finish of the barrel and keep it from rusting. The lock plate on these are case hardened. And that's a factory process where they, uh, again, treat the metal to uh, keep it from deteriorating. This one is rifled and it has the original rear sight and it has the front sight. These guns are interesting for a couple of reasons. One, because they have so much brass that it really makes them stand out from most of the guns of the day. Most of the guns of the day were iron mounted, meaning that they have iron, or steel barrel bands and butt plates. These have a ton of brass. They have brass for the trigger guard, for the barrel bands, and that little piece on the end at the front of the stock is called a nose cap, and that is also made of brass. And if you notice while we've got that out there, there's a lug on the side of it. And that lug was used to apply a saber bayonet and that's exactly what it sounds like. It was a bayonet that attached to the end of the gun that could also be taken off and used as a saber. We're gonna cover some of those down the road uh, because there's a lot of variations to them and I like them. So we're gonna cover them. Just gonna to have to bear with me. The gun is made of a single piece of dark walnut. Walnut was used in the majority of all Civil War guns. They're beautiful furniture grade pieces Remington used the best. They were expensive at the time, but he made a, they made a very quality weapon. The brass, one piece that is interesting on these guns, there's a big piece of brass you notice on the front of the stock. That is actually a compartment that opens up. And they could keep their gun tool in there. It's called a patch box and you see it on these guns, several others, especially the Model 1841 Mississippi, they have a patch box as well, but it took extra time, it took extra money, and so you don't see them on all guns. This one happens to have one. These have always been known as the Remington Zouave, and the Zouave is a uh, term that you hear, it comes over from the French, and it was used for uh, the troops with the wild looking, almost circus type uh, uniforms, but they call it the Zouave. N nobody has ever found a reference as to why they call it a Zouave, uh, because they weren't issued to Zouaves specifically. So we don't know. In the records where the government purchased these guns, they refer to it simply as a Harper's Ferry patent. 
are, are a Harper's Ferry pat pattern gun. They are a very attractive gun. They're one that you see frequently in good condition. So you expect to see them in better condition. This one has almost all of the blue. It has almost all of the case coloration. The stock is beautiful, has both of the sling swivels. These little pieces underneath are actually what the uh, soldier would have a leather sling on. That's what he carried it with. And most of the time, as you can see, I'm a one man show. The phone just rang, so I had to go get it. Love it when it rings because that's the order line. And these videos are not only to inform, but they're to help you want to buy this stuff. So please bear with me if that happens. Uh, but the sales come first because this is how I feed my family is buying and selling these pieces that I love to be around. I was summing up and going to tell you guys the price range that you often see these guns in. If you see one that's just a nice brown gun with none of the finish uh, remaining on it, they'll usually sell in that $1,200 to $1,500 range. I've got a couple on the site right now. This is the best one. I wanted to show you guys the best. This one is $3,500. And you can see all of the detail pictures of it on the website because it has the 1863 production date on the lock plate. It has the Remington mark as well as the Ilian New York production location. And it'll have the matching 1863 date up on top of that barrel and the proof marks. And I've got up close pictures of all of those markings on this gun on the website as well as all of them that I do. I do usually 25 to 40 pictures of each gun on the website. So if you get a chance at shilohrelics.com, you can go on there. And if nothing else, you can learn because knowledge is key. And I've got one that's not quite as pretty. It's very pretty, but it's not this kind of, wow, that gun's beautiful. It looks like it just rolled out of the factory pretty. So the other one is $2,250. If you get a chance, check those out. I hope that you guys are all doing well. I want to challenge you to do one thing. I was out this weekend and there were a lot of people I saw that looked down. So I waved at everybody that I saw with a smile. Sounds simple and stupid, but I was surprised how many people changed to a smile and waved back. They didn't have a clue who I was and I didn't have a clue who they were, but it doesn't hurt. So take one second, wave at one person and see if you can make their day a little bit better because we all need to be kind to each other, especially in times like this. And remember, you don't know what that person's going through. So if you can brighten their day just a little bit, take a second, it's well worth it. And always remember that I love you guys and I hope that you enjoy your life as much as I enjoy what I do and that I get to be able to share these things with you. Hope y'all have a great evening. Love you guys.